What's up guys, Eric Prey, Focus Fishing Guide Service, Table Rock Fishing Intel. Got another video fishing report for you for Table Rock. It is Monday, May 16th. I'm gonna go ahead and get this shot today. Got some stuff going on tomorrow, so um, gonna be guiding, but then I've got stuff going on in the afternoon, so just be easier to do it today. Uh, fishing's been pretty good. A um, little tough today with the Bluebird Skies post front conditions, but over the weekend was good. All last week was good. Got several different bites going on that I need to make you guys aware of. Uh, lake level, uh, 924.80, I believe, which puts us a little bit more than eight feet above normal pool right now. Uh, water is dropping. I mean, we got, I think we dropped three or four feet in the last week. So they are definitely dropping it. They've slowed the flow coming out of Beaver. Um, Bull Shoals is still getting hammered. They're not moving a lot of water out of there, but they've got gates and generators open here. So they are dropping it pretty quick. Water temperature has been kind of weird. I uh, just pulled off the water right now. It was 76.3 um, over the weekend. So as high as 81 in the afternoon. Now that's just going to be the surface layer. You can get down a little ways and it's still going to be in the 60s and maybe low 70s. So a lot of stress on the fish right now, guys. So if you're, <clears throat> if you're fishing a derby, make sure you're taking care of your fish. Bring some ice to put in your live wells. Keep those fish healthy. They can't handle that, you know, going from colder to warmer very well. If you're just releasing them, then they ain't going to hurt them. But if you're putting them in the live wells, make sure you're taking real good care. Leave your aerators running, oxygenator, oxygenators running, and put some ice in the live wells with them to keep that water cool for them throughout the day. A lot of lost fish over the weekend in a couple of tournaments we had. And it's no fault of the anglers. It's just we, this water got temperature skyrocketed in the last week. It's come up 10 degrees in a week. So, but bite's been good. Bite's been changing uh, with this water fluctuating, the weather, the water temperature fluctuating. Things are changing almost every day. And again, the best way to stay on top of that, join Table Rock Fishing Intel, become a pro member and get our daily reports. We had a slew of daily reports over the weekend, slew of tournament results. A lot of information being shared for you guys right now. And the best way to know before you go, join Table Rock Fishing Intel. If you're coming down, say you're going to fish the lower end of the lake. Lower end is really pretty clear. Um, as far as debris is concerned, there's a little bit when you get around Big Cedar and then on up. But uh, for the most part, with the water dropping and the winds we've had, a lot of the debris has already made its way to the bank and it's already pinned up there. So debris is really not that big of an issue. Um, bite down there, you know, they're still eating swim bait. Uh, <laughs> Wears me out talking about that Kitech 2.8, but man, they are still eating it. Uh, quarter ounce head, gravel points. Most of the day, you're getting it down about six or eight feet off of the bottom. The fish are from the bank out to about 15, 20 feet. Some days you do need to scrub it on the bottom, but definitely catch them on a swim bait up there. You can catch them on a variety of bount bottom bouncing baits up there. You can catch them on a Ned, you can catch them on a squirrel head, you can catch them on a pro spider jig, you can catch them on a peewee football jig, you can catch them on a tube. Just about anything you want to drag on the bottom on those flat gravel points, keep the boat 20 to 25, throw towards the bank and work it out slow. You're going to catch some smallmouth and some spots doing that. Largemouth, it really feels like a lot of the largemouth who that had most of the largemouth that hadn't spawned before the water came up have moved up and spawned. I've um, been catching a few that have got really bloody tails. And those fish are going to be up there in that shallower water, eight feet deep or less, obviously. And um, <clears throat> most of them are going to be you know, holding tight to some certain piece of cover where they can, you know, they can back up into it. So you've got some fish on beds. You can catch those with a floating worm, you can weightless Senko, all that sort of stuff. The problem is seeing the beds with all the stuff that's in the water up there. So it is kind of hard bed fishing unless you get a nice open area, but you can certainly catch largemouth on beds, caught a few on a buzz bait back in the bushes, caught a few just flipping the bushes, you know, blind flipping the bushes over the weekend. So keep that in mind as well. Mid lake area, same sort of bites are going on. You got a really, I forgot to mention the top water bite. There's top water bite down by the dam as well. As top water bite is turning on all over the lake, it is not Katie by the bar the door yet, but it is definitely good. It's definitely worth the first hour, hour and a half of your day to throw a top water. Um, look for busting fish, busting shad, obviously. That's one clue. I've been catching some around some of the boat docks, um, around some of the other cover but you definitely have a good topwater bite going on. You got a good swim bait bite in the mid lake and you've got a good, uh, um, good dragon bite with shaky head, uh, the jewel squirrel head, Ned rig, spider jig, peewee football jig, all that stuff. You've got some really good bites going on right now. So 
keep that in mind as well. James River, jig bite, buzz bait bite, square bill bite. Uh, there is a lot of debris up the James still, um, at least it was over the weekend. So be careful if you're running up there, but spider jig on spawning areas, around spawning areas, on points, square bill around spawning areas, and then a buzz bait in the flooded stuff, or just flipping in the flooded stuff, catching a lot of fish doing that too. Up the White River where I am today, the bite's been really good up here in the White, uh, catching a lot of fish on a swim bait, of course. I think that bait's gonna work 12 months out of the year. A lot of fish dragging, shaky head, Ned rig, all that dragging stuff's been working really, really well. Uh, flipping, flipping the bushes, caught some good fish over the weekend, flipping the bushes. Top water, of course, catching them on a spook and a pop R and a Sammy, all those baits. And then also catching them really good <clears throat> flipping. The flipping bite's been good up here and really good dragging up here. So, I mean, there's a lot of bites going on that are happening right now. Things are, today was a little slow, but the weekend was strong and the bite's really good and gonna be good for a while. Guys, if Guys, we are halfway through May. Uh, bite is getting really good. We're really starting to see some good bites, some good fish. Uh, a lot of big smallmouth this past week, catching some decent largemouth. So things are getting good. Things are, you know, it's finally warmed up and these fish are really starting to bite good. Starting to get into a late spring, early summer pattern. So best way to know what's going on, best way to know how you're gonna catch them before you get down here, join Table Rock Fishing and tell them, become a pro member, get all that information, get all those reports and you'll be all set before you come to the lake. If you're coming down and want to hire a guide, though, give me a call. It's Focus Fishing Guide Service. You can reach me at 417-860-4743. Hit my website, focusfishing.com. Either shoot me an email or book online. Either way, I get back to you as soon as I can. Guys, thanks for watching the video. Again, check out Table Rock Fishing Intel if you haven't done so. Thanks for watching. Can't wait to hear from you. We'll see you on the water.